I idolized Mike Webster growing up, you know, and even before him, because ever since I could play football, my dad handed me a ball and says, you're not a running back, you're a center. He understood that, that all plays initiated with the center, and uh, I wanted to be that guy that, you know, took control of the line. Even back in grade schools, you know, centers were calling the huddle. Not a whole lot of line calls, but they would call the huddle and they would be the first one to the ball. And, uh, and, and my dad was a coach, so he says, you know, so we got to uh, have somebody that can get everybody organized. And he says, you have a big mouth, so we'll, we'll use you. I went on a couple of recruiting trips, and then when Pitt came in, I was like, this is where I want to go. I, I wanted to stay close to home. I wanted to play in front of my family. And at that time, Pitt was pretty, pretty good. They were 11-1 two years in a row before I got there. And uh, Dan Marino was the quarterback. He had long fingernails, I know that, because every time I snapped the ball, I used to get cut on the wrist. But I mean, he was the most competitive person I, ever, I was ever around. He wasn't afraid to get in your face in a huddle if you weren't doing your job. He didn't care who you were. But he was also a great teammate because you knew the passion that he had for him to succeed. He was gonna share with his teammates and make sure they were successful at what they did. And, we had some pretty good teams there. Early in the second round, when the phone rang around 12 o'clock, it was Joe Walton, who was native of Pittsburgh, and he actually played at Pitt. He said, how would you like to be a New York Jets? I said, yes, sir, absolutely. And, you know, as soon as you were drafted, everything, all the fun started. And everybody was having fun except me, because I was thinking, okay, now I got to get ready to do this and do this. It would really be the first time I was away from home on my own. Well, I was so naive at times, I just thought that was the norm. I didn't realize, but you know, watching, uh, telling, talking to my players now about the experiences that I had, yeah, it was pretty special that uh, 80,000 people show up to watch you play a game. And uh, I like to think I did it the best of my ability. Uh, played against some great players. That's how I measured myself. Uh, those are my fondest memories of playing the guys that are in the Hall of Fame now. How did I measure against them? I guess I did all right. I mean, you don't fool somebody for 16 years. I mean, you're either able to do their job or they're gonna get rid of you. And uh, for me to walk away from the game on my term, I, I guess I did it right. I guess that's always what I wanted to do. I just wanted to do it right. I went through a lot of football in my life. I'm gonna share every moment that I have, every experience I have. I'm never gonna ask them to do something that I wouldn't do as a player. And I think that has some merit. But I want them to, to look at me as a mentor that if you can be a positive influence in a young man's life to where he becomes a responsible man, a responsible husband, a responsible father, I mean, that speaks more volumes than being a football player.